Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models, found in all major bookshops. What you're watching is a P5 question, similar to what I teach in my weekly classes. To get a printable version of this question, please join my Telegram group found in the description below. And remember to subscribe if you found this video useful so that you don't miss the weekly videos that I add to this channel to support parents. Let's get started. All right, let's begin with uh, fractions two, question four. Uh, you should have already done the keywords and you can now compare it against mine. If you have not done so, please go and do it, okay? okay here we go. So the keywords are seven. What is the seven? <clears throat> if your answer is the animals, you are correct. What is the three? Okay, and your answer should have been the dogs. So three is the dogs, seven is the animals. Okay, next, there's a six here, and there's an off. What is the six? Okay, if your answer is the remaining animals, then you are correct. Therefore, we should point the six towards the word remaining, and what is five? If your answer is cats, you are absolutely right. Okay, that would be awesome. Let's point that to the cats. And of course, we have to highlight that the rest are hamsters. All right, what's the next keyword? 32 more cats than hamsters. Question, how many dogs? All right, so now I'm going to begin with my model. Can you tell me how many units you will be drawing? Okay, of course, we take the model from the beginning, which means that we will start by using the seven here. And so our model starts with seven boxes. Okay, so here we go, seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now you can see that the size of the units are not the same. Actually, it doesn't really matter, okay? So we just um, keep in mind that they are all considered to be equal if you are not too particular about it. And then over here, you should have the word animals, okay? So this represents all the animals. And of these animals, what does the three represent? What is this? Okay, that's right. The answer should be dogs and i told you earlier that whenever we see the word remaining appear what must we do you must label it in the model and you must bring it down okay two things that you have to do first you have to label it and then you have to bring it down to form a new model how many units should this new model be Okay, if your answer is if your answer is six then you're perfectly right you should now cut this new model below into six equal parts that's precisely what i'm going to do so to cut into six i will need to have a middle and then i cut each of them into three okay at this point i would like to highlight something to you there is there are two ways to do this and based on what I taught you earlier, I did say to you that if these are the same, then this is considered to be six units because there are one, two, three, four, five, six here. And this would be considered as four units because there's one, two, three, four boxes here. Okay, but having said that, it is also possible for you to consider that the four times table and the six times table, the first number they share is a 12. So in the four times table, you have one, two, three, which means that these are all considered to be three units. And in the six times table, you have one, two, therefore these are considered two units. You can also do it this way. Okay, but it does require you to have the knowledge of common um, multiples. And since that is the case, 
it might be a little bit harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use the original method that I taught you. This will take away one of the complications. And that means to say, since there are one, two, three, four, five, six boxes here, this will be considered as six. And since there's exactly one, two, three, four here, I would just label this as four for simplicity. Okay, so you don't have to actually think about how many to write. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to label this, which we have not done so. So where do I label this? Okay, now you should label it five of them, right? So you need to label five of these boxes and call them cats. And the rest are hamsters, which means that this would be hamsters. Okay, cool. So right now, there are 32 more cats than hamsters. How many units of cats are there? So you have four, and these are all four. So you just got to multiply them. That's four times five. So that's 20 units. And hamsters just makes four units, right? So if 32 is more, okay, it is a difference. So if it is a difference, then I need to take cats minus hamsters. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take cats and I'm going to subtract hamsters. So if I take cats, which is 20, minus hamsters, which is 4. Okay, this is 20 and this is 4. Then it is the same as taking 20 units minus 4 to get 16 units. And since 32 is the difference, then 16 units is 32. Okay, so we're going to take it from there. What would my next step be? Okay, if you set one unit and you take 32 divided by 16 to get that, then you're absolutely right. It's one unit equals to two animals. And the question is, how many dogs are there? So next, I'm going to ask you, how many units of dogs are there? If you set six units times three, then you are right. Okay, so for the dogs, we have six units times three, or 18 units. And since one unit is two, then 18 units would be 18 times two. And so answer is 36 dogs. And that is my answer. For question four great you know what to do with this correct okay always practice on your own without copying directly from the videos in order to improve okay let's solve the riddle below it says what runs smooth can hit hard or soft loves to fall but cannot climb what am i the answer is Rain. I'll see you in the next video for question 5. Were the explanations clear and useful for you? Let me know by leaving your questions in the comments below. Remember to subscribe for more teaching and student motivation videos. And if you are serious about your child's future, call or WhatsApp me at the number found in the description below to help your child score and excel while studying less. I'll see you again.